Taylor Swift speaks on giving Kanye a second chance. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Salam Factor. We all know that Kanye West recently in one of his songs stated that he cheated on Kim Kardashian, but do we know that his ex-love, Taylor Swift, is ready to give him a second chance? Let's dive right into the video to know. The Kanye West and Taylor Swift VMA dispute is one of pop culture's most infamous events. The debate has raged on for a decade, with each side throwing its own shadow. Who is scrutinized every detail of this enthralling celebrity feud? Who was the victor? Who will let you make the call? But now, Taylor Swift is ready to give him a second chance. Taylor Swift does not leave the last word to Kanye West and Kim Kardashian West. On Friday, the 27-year, 12-month-old singer released her sixth studio album, Reputation, and as expected, she dealt with her feud with a peer via song. Taylor instantly said she would not simply appreciate the rapper's landed stage and the album's lead song, Look What You Made Me Do, and the accompanying music video. Instead, Fans hypothesized about different snake-covered testimonials. Remember, Kimye fans filled their social media with snake emojis when the phone's famous name was announced and accepted the scene as well as its duplicity. It's possible that Kim's heist in Paris, France, in a bathtub full of jewels, is connected to the city's closure for a year. Many LMY MMD themes made it appear as though we were paying attention to this drama, but after hearing the album in its entirety, it's apparent that Taylor had a lot more to say. Consider the 13th melody. Taylor gets totally crazy and this is why you can't have nice things, calling one individual in his life so untrustworthy. This matches so perfectly with Taylor and Kanye's complex, often challenging, statements throughout the years. For example, Kanye Taylor halted on stage during the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards to accept her Best Female Video Award for You Belong With Me. She thought Beyonce had won the prize for Single Women Wear a Ring for a long time throughout those 12 months. It felt so good to be a partner again, giving you a second opportunity, but as you held my hand, you attacked me back. There have been many ups and downs since then. In short, he apologized and said they'd be friends again sooner or later. There was more drama. Still, they said they wanted to paint together. She presented him with the MTV Video Vanguard Award 2015. He sent her a bouquet. Hashtag Kante 2020 became a thin, and they seemed to get along very well. That was all until Kanye's 2016 post Famous, in which he joked that he and Taylor can have sex for getting this bitch famous. For approving the content, Kanye claimed to be known as Taylor, but Taylor disagreed. Kim's hatred was reignited when she posted a phone's name on Snapchat. Taylor's lyrics no longer seem to be so quietly dealing with his sentiments over this fiasco. And that's the issue. Your pals don't attempt to call you, and your thoughts tangle you. But there are a couple more. I'm not the last best friend you've had to say goodbye to. The honor belongs to Kanye. When Kim returned in 2012, he lost his buddies as quickly as he gained them. Not to mention the countless complaints he's received on Twitter about his enormous ulcers. And that was one of his jobs back then, before the 2016 election, when he was a long-term supporter of Donald Trump. Then there's his rumors back with Jay-Z. There are a few more, but you get the picture. This is a toast to my genuine companions. It makes no difference to them that he said what she said. Let's toast the bastards. Let's toast the jackasses. Let's toast the jerks. He raps, everybody will be deemed one of the ones I know. Taylor, how are you today? It's not a good sign if you already have a plan for the music video for this song, but if this is genuinely a Kanye link, who will assume you have to pay homage to ballerina Taylor from Shake It Off? There are clear reasons for this. We should also offer some text for melody number three, I did the wrong thing, in the different trends. This suit is open to interpretation and is most likely about an ex finding you Calvin Harris, but it also appears to be about Kim and Kanye, both of whom have a reputation. See what we did there? If this song was sung by a narcissist like Taylor. Here are a few more quotes from this may definitely be about Kim and Kanye. Three of you let me know since I told you every untruth. If someone says something stupid, I don't owe him anything, and I don't regret it since he let it go. Why is it like way if you claim I did anything wrong? Excellent? Why is it so good if you say I did something bad? The majority of the time, I've laughed and repeated it over and again. If I could, I'd do it. I was ecstatic. 
than on the bridge. Taylor appears to know Kanye's lead by heavily employed autotune. When he sings, they handed them their hairpins and receipts and justifications. It appears like Kanye does something. Taylor Swift's new album, Reputation, was released on Friday, November 10. Their supporters joyously announced the comeback of their favorite Tay-Tay. Still, hip-hop fans have been busy enjoying or denouncing Eminem's walk on water, and the nerds are back with rolling out sevens, the Andre 3000 provide. However, there is a connection between the two genres. Swift can stop talking about hip-hop legend Kanye West. Hence, Taylor Swift still wants Kanye West back in her life. That's all about what Taylor Swift says about giving Kanye a second chance. Do you agree? Let us know your views in the comments.